Thank you. Look around the world, in Europe, in Asia, in the Middle East, in Africa, wherever you see evidence of radical Islam, that extremism can usually be traced to preachers of hate from Saudi Arabia. The kingdom has blood on its hands. Is it the blood of the victims of 9-11? Possibly. 15 of the 19 hijackers were Saudis. Some Saudis were permitted to flee this country without thorough interviews. Saudi Arabia has long been considered a principal source of funding for al-Qaeda. Intelligence Committee Chair Bob Graham saw a direct line between at least some of the terrorists who carried out the September 11th attacks and the government of Saudi Arabia. But evaluating all of this evidence, the evidence of both sides, is why we have a judicial system in the first place. And for our government to obstruct the 9-11 victims, their families, from seeking the truth about Saudi Arabia and its involvement is just flat wrong. Some in our government have tried to hide as much as they could for as long as they could about the Saudis. Ignoring Saudi treachery, we had a president who literally held hands with the crown prince while attacking another country in the biggest foreign policy disaster in our nation's history that continues to plague us. The Muslims that I know that are my neighbors in Texas and those with whom I meet here in Washington do not deserve blanket blame for themselves or for Islam, but neither should there be blanket immunity for those who may have committed wrong. I salute the bipartisan sponsors of this legislation. Give these 9-11 families their day in court and accord the Saudis all of the rights in that judicial proceeding that they so regularly deny their own citizens. I yield back.